Hey everyone, this is going to be a demo of an updated version of Crime Hunter. So I, I did a demo of Crime Hunter quite a while ago now, and this is essentially a newer version of it rewritten in Python. Um, it's uh, available for Mac OS and Windows. I'm going <clears throat> I'm going to be running it on Mac OS, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show off the features that are new and that have changed. The story mode, I, I believe, is the same, so I'm not going to demo that. Um, but I am going to show you the new features. So let me go ahead. Um, I actually already have the folder open in the Finder. So when you download this on the Mac, at least, there will be a, a folder called MacDist that you will have to copy to your Applications folder and it contains the following files. If I go to the, the top, we have ch application, January 13th, 2021 at 10, 42 a.m., 189.6 megabytes. Application. That's the application file. Change log.txt plain text document. That's the change log. How to make a custom level.txt plain text document. That's a guide on making custom levels, which I'll briefly talk about here in a little bit. Readme.txt plain text document and the readme file. Um, this version also is commercial, so I believe if, if you pay ten dollars, you get access to some uh, additional features. So I'm going to go back over to ch application, the Crime Hunter application. Voiceover off. Turn off voiceover and hit Command O, which should open the game. Loading. Crime Hunter main menu. Play. So we've got play. Options. Options. Registered to Christopher Wright. I bought the game and I registered it. So it tells me that. Crime Hunter has been ran a total of 9,594 times. Exit. And we have exit. Options. Let's go into options real quick. Options menu. Change speech rate. Currently 280. You can change the speech rate here. Play cutscenes. True. Uh, play cutscenes. This is for the story mode. Hold control to run. True. If you hold down uh, control and left and right arrow keys, you will run. Use behind pitch decrease. False. <coughs> this turns off pitch decrease when things are behind you. I turn this off. Go back. Crime Hunter main menu. Options. Registered to op play. So if we hit play now. Select a game mode. Story mode. So story mode is, I'm pretty sure, the same as the older version. Endless. Endless mode, the, the, um, this is new. This is what you unlock if you purchase the game. Essentially, what you have in here is either endless mode or auto endless mode. Auto endless mode, basically, you watch the computer play and, uh, well, that's what it does. Endless mode essentially involves you walking through levels that get increasingly larger with more and more traps and things like that. Auto endless. Uh, auto endless, that's the auto endless mode. Enemy battlefield. Enemy battlefield, this is essentially you're spectating enemies as they fight each other. Custom levels. And then we have custom levels. Go back. Um, the free version, I believe, lets you access enemy battlefield, the story mode, and I believe you can play and download c custom levels, but you can't upload them or share them. Um, so endless mode is a paid feature primarily. So let me go back up here. Cut, auto en endless story mode. So let's show you endless. Endless. Endless mode menu. Play. So I hit enter there and we can go up and down this menu. View scoreboard. Go back. View scoreboard. There's a scoreboard for e each mode. Um, play. I'm going to hit play. And we are launched into the level. I'm going to move to the right. <laughs> so, just like most other audio games in this style, you have one through, I think, eight are your weapons. Fists. Feet. Knife, sword, machine gun, grenades. Or one through six, actually. Grenades. 
Left and right arrows make you move. Up arrows jump. So you press the up arrow and you hold one point. Right arrow. Either select what you want to spend points on or press a number or a letter spoken at the beginning of each item name to buy that specific point upgrade. Max health, zero, one, H, increases your maximum health points by 500 points. So, uh, let's see, let me go through keys and then I'll explain what's happening. Uh, the space bar is your weapon, uh, H checks your health, all the, all the standard keys that you would come to expect from these types of audio games. Um, so... Now what has happened is I actually jumped into the next level. So at the end of each level of endless mode, you'll hear it ding. And if you walk into that, you will be taken to this screen. Here you have points that you can use to improve your character. So if you hit P, oop, or I thought there was a way to check points. Uh, By a potion power, obstacle max, you have one usable points. Yeah, so if you hit end to go to the bottom of the menu, it 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 will tell you uh, it will tell you how many points you have. I'm gonna go up this menu. No banked points. Um, banked points. I believe this lets you store points for future use, uh, but you have to have like two or three points before you can store one. The benefit seems to be that these will carry over between games, so you might want to use this. You do not have enough points to store yet. You don't have the five points to buy a grenade. So a lot of these allow you to improve your character, as I said. Um, you can buy grenades. You don't have the four points to buy a machine gun cartridge. You can buy more ammo for your gun. You don't have the three points to buy a potion. Potions will heal you, um, you can hit P to drink a potion. Buy a hazard cover for one point, six. Hazard point for, or a hazard cover, these will cover hazards. Potion power, zero, five P, increases your potions heal range by 25 health points. This obviously makes your potions, um, it makes them uh, it makes them better so that they will make you heal much more. Obstacle spacer zero four zero oh, increases the amount of space between obstacles the game places. This makes a difference at higher levels. Uh, increases the space of obstacles because as the levels get higher, obstacles will become closer and closer together. Range zero three R increases your weapon range by one points. So that's test your range for your weapon. Damage, zero, two, D. Increases your weapon damage by 25 points. And it, it's saying two, D, three. Range, zero, three, R. Increases your weapon range by one points. Those are telling you that you can either press the number or the letter to jump to that option. Da max health, zero, one, H. Increases your maximum health points by 500 points. So let's get some more health here. 500. And we're on level two. Level two. You can press L to check that. Let's go in here. One point damage. Zero. Twenty-five. In increased damage. So essentially. One grenade. This is how the game goes. Um, also to look at your inventory, you hit tab. Empty. Empty. Which is Empty. telling me nothing right now. One point. Damage. Fifty. Increase Nine. damage. Sword. You've got a fire pit here. Sixty nine point seven percent. One machine gun cartridge. One point. Damage. Fifty. Max health. Five hundred. One thousand. Knife. Sword. We got a spike here that you have to jump over. Level five. I'll play this until about level ten. One point damage. Max health fifteen hundred. More health. Oop. Nope. 
jump up and hold the arrow to jump over that pit. One potion, 78 point potion, one. So I'm gonna hit P. Or I thought you could hit P. Uh, potion, you may just have one. to tab to it and hit enter. 82.5%, 88.7%. 93.7%, 93.7%, 93.7%. And as you can tell, the potion takes a while to actually heal you. But I was just, I was checking my health with H. One point. Damage. 50. 75. Increased damage. Sword. Empty. And we have a spike. Now... Grenades. Let's try a grenade here. Zero grenades in your hand, with two grenades in reserve. So I'm gonna hit R to load it. And we'll throw a grenade, which also has the added effect of destroying... Uh, ooh, let me make sure I'm... There we go. So, if you toss a grenade, this also has the added effect of destroying spikes, which is quite useful. Gonna walk here to the right. Level seven. We're on level seven. One point damage range zero. D max health two thousand sword. One point damage. Max health 2500. One grenade empty. 79. So, yeah, basically, you keep going until you die. Um, let's see. Level 9. Yeah, I'll do one more level. Damn it. Max health. 2,500. 3,000. Now there is... Um, I want to say this is new, but if you press D... Objects viewer. Two objects found. One enemies. Two hazards. Enemy. 65. Zero with knife and 238 HP. This gives you a list of objects in the... New. 46. Zero. That's me. Enemy. 65. You. 46. Zero. Oh. That's a bomb. 59.5%. Empty. Also, I believe if, if you hit shift... Uh, let's see. Environment viewer. Max X. 120. Four objects found. You. 65. Zero. Right, so... Shift D is the environment viewer, which also gives you information about the environment. Spike hazard. You. Fuck you. Gravel platform, 0 to 120, 0. Fire hazard, 2, 20 to 22, 0. You, 65, 0. Spike hazard, 90, 0. So that gives you an idea of what to expect. Oop, wait, why is it? Oop, hold on, this is acting weird. Give me just a second. Voice over on CH, Crime Hunter 2.3 window, Crime Hunter 2.3 window. And I'm trying to figure out why it just locked up on the voice over off. Come on. Voice over on C Uh Are you sure you wish to exit? No. Okay. Voice over off. Let me let's actually go here into the next level. One point damage. 75. 2 D. Increases your weapon damage by 25 points. So I think what I what happened was I held down control with the arrows and that activates um, dashboard or I, I guess it's not called dashboard anymore in macOS but it's the expose thing uh, so you will want to turn those off and I'm going to show you how to do that because it re it reminds me to do or that I need to do that so. Range. Um, Z max health. We've got some more Three health. 3,500. Show you what happens when you die. So this is a force field. That means it's on. That means it's off. Go. 
25.4%, You made it to level 11. You made it to level 11. All right, so th this is what happens if you die, so I'm going to hit enter. Yay. This is a new high score. You can post it on the scoreboard. Yay. Endless mode menu. Play. Post high score. So now we can post the score. Your position is 50. Endless mode menu. Enter. You go back. Select endless. Story. Endless. Auto endless. So auto endless is the same concept, except the computer is controlling your character. Let's auto show endless you that. View score. Play. Select AI speed. 1.25x. Normal. So you can adjust how quickly it, it moves. 1.25x, 1.5x, 1.75x, 2x, 2.25x, 2, one, normal. Let's still just do normal. One points. Either select what you want to spend points on, or press a number or a letter. Damage, max health. So that's the computer. Zero, 500. I'll, I'll max health. One point. Damage, 25. Damage. One points. Either select what you damage. 25, 2D, increases your weapon damage by 25 points. So basically the computer is playing. You can um, change weapons and that, that will change what weapon the computer's using. So if you press number 5. 50. Machine gun. Now it's using the machine gun. 1 point damage, 50. 2D so increases your weapon damage by 25 points. This uh, just keeps going basically now. What you can do if you want to end this in a rather um, amusing way is when you're playing this and you're in a level, if you hit U. 75. Well, off we go then. You made it to level 5. Yay. This is a new high score. Auto endless mode menu. Post high score. Your position is 51. So you will make the AI uh, kill itself basically in a hazard. <clears throat> auto endless view. Go back. So that's auto endless mode. Select a game endless story mode and auto endless enemy battlefield. Um, enemy battlefield. This one is pretty pretty basic, but I'll show you. Battlefield menu. Play. Go back. Play. So we'll hit play. You are on a concrete platform above a group of enemies. They will fight with each other and then respawn one side. Random things will happen on the level as well. Note, everything is completely 100% over dramatic on purpose. Enjoy. So, yeah, basically the AI will fight itself and random things will happen. Um, you'll get cars and spikes and hazards and all kinds of crazy things happening. So let's just hit enter. And you can listen here. Off to the right, there's a bunch of enemies. I'm gonna walk to the right here. So there's enemies falling into things. If you press F1, mod menu, spawn enemies. So F1 allows you to do lots of uh, things. You can spawn enemies. Kill enemy. You can kill them. Change enemy target. You can change what each enemy is targeting. Spawn cars. You can make cars. Kill car. Spawn spikes. Spawn fires. Remove hazard. Spawn boulders. Remove boulder. Spawn chopper. Auto spawn random surfaces. True. Um, and then the rest of these are pretty... I would say they explain each other quite well. Auto spawn spikes. True. Auto spawn cars. True. If you don't want things to automatically spawn, you turn these off. Auto expand the playing field. True. Auto spawn enemies. True. So the playing field will expand as you continue to um, play. So, you know, it's a decent mode. It's a decent little time waster, but it's, it's purely... You're purely observing the computer, so... You may or may not like this, but that's basically that mode. Now we just, uh, going at it, there's some, there's a spike, and I can hit the letter C. Fifty-five to check my coordinates. Let's 
walk back over here to these enemies. Are you sure you wish to exit? No, yes. And when you get tired of it, you just hit escape and then choose yes. Crime Hunter main menu, option, play. Um, last thing I'm going to show you here real quick. Select a game, auto, enemy, custom levels. Are custom levels. There is a text file that comes with the game that explains how to make these. Essentially, you are writing a text file that defines different things on the level. So you can specify how how um, you can specify how many enemies you want, um, what types of enemies, what types of weapons they have, how big you want the playing field to be, what you want the ground tile t to be like. You can make platforms, so like you could make a staircase that goes up and you could have a level on top of levels. Um, you can spawn all the standard obstacles, so boulders and spikes and cars and all those things. Go back. Um, Custom levels. So if we go in here. Custom levels menu. Play a local level. This lets you play levels that you've downloaded. Compile a level. Um, the compile options. Play a shared level. Compile a level. Um, that is only available to people that have the paid version. It will take your level and encrypt it. That way players can't read the file. Play a shared level. This lets you browse levels that have been uploaded to the server. Save a shared level. Uh, this lets you save a level to your computer for playing it offline. Share a level. And share a level, which I believe is also a paid um, option. This will let you upload your level to the server. Go back. Save a share. Play a shared level. So let's just play a shared Select level. Select level here. Road underscore underscore rage. Crime hunter compiled level. It tells you if they're compiled or not. Spikes. Crime hunter compiled level. Get underscore underscore item. Crime hunter compiled level. Little underscore underscore fires underscore underscore everywhere. Crime hunter compiled level. You can also hit the space bar, which will tell you more information. Created by Maddie. First, crime hunter compiled level. Created by James. So I'm going to hit enter on this one. This is a level that has a shit ton of guns. This is a level that has a shit ton of guns. So we got... Objects viewer. 29 objects found. Chopper. You. Chopper. 12. 32. You got choppers. Chopper. 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 Enemy. Enemy. Fist. Fist. 30. Enemy. 40. Zero with fists and 500. Chopper. Door. Chopper. Door. 50. Zero. Chopper. 51. Enemy. Enemy. Machine gun. Machine gun bullet. Chopper. Enemy. 95. Machine gun bullet. So, 88. 50. You got choppers and enemies. Knife. Sword. The sword here. Take out these choppers. Or they land. You just jump in. One grenade. One grenade. One machine gun card. Grenades. One life. One life. Custom levels menu. Compile and level. And there you go. Go back. Um, Select endless. Go back. Crime hunt options. That's an example of how a custom level works. Red crime exit. But yeah, um, I was taking out those choppers because if they land, they will spawn a bunch of enemies. And so to, to take them out, you have to jump up and use your weapon. Um, so that's that's Crime Hunter. Now the other thing I want to show you. Voice over on Finder. Close window. Macintosh. <clears throat> is if you're on macOS, you'll want to disable the keyboard commands for. Oh, it's not called. It's not called dashboard anymore. Um, actually, let me pause the game or uh, pause the recording, and look this up real quick, and I will get back to you very shortly as to how this actually works because I need to look at this real quick. All right, so it's called Mission Control. Um, and it's basically, from what I can tell, it's Apple's version of 
virtual desktops, uh, which I don't find very useful as a voiceover feature. I, I don't think it was ever optimized for voiceover, but there are keyboard shortcuts that it uses. Um, the ones we're concerned with are control, up, down, left, and right arrows, which can mess with games like this one. So Doc. if we system go into system preferences, Finder. system preferences, system preferences, window, toolbar, and I'm going to go system to the right. Sign, preference panes, scroll area. In preference panes, battery button. And we're, we're looking for keyboard, so I'm just going to hit K. Keyboard button. And the space bar. Loading keyboard, window, toolbar. Now, I'm using Mac OS Big Sur. This might change in the future, but for right now, this is how it should work. Keyboard, keyboard, text, shortcuts, tab, 3 of 5. Selected. Going to select this tab. Input source shortcuts selected tab three of five. This lets you customize keyboard shortcuts for lots of different things. Input dictation tab to change a shortcut. Select it. Click the key combination and then type the new keys. Shortcuts categories table row two of eight category expose image mission control image selected. The mission control category is already um, the one that's currently here. So I'm going to move to the right. Vertical splitter. Mission control shortcuts table. And we're going to interact. In mission control shortcuts table. Mission check checkbox. Column one, row one. So select on, to turn on. Oop, let me read the hint again. Select to turn on a shortcut in the list. Okay. On the left side, you have checkboxes for each thing. Mission control. Control up arrow. Column two, row one. Check checkbox. So I'm Column gonna, uh, one, row this. uncheck. Uncheck checkbox. And I'm going to move down to turn on a short this column. Check checkbox. Uncheck. And I'm going to actually uncheck all of these. Check checkbox. Uncheck. Check checkbox. Uncheck. Check checkbox. Uncheck. Uncheck checkbox. Uncheck checkbox. Uncheck checkbox. Uncheck checkbox. Out of mission control shortcuts. So these are all off now. Finder. And we can close that window. Um, so essentially, that's how you do it. If if you're finding that control and the arrow keys don't behave as expected that's probably why because when you hit control up arrow it opens up a view i think of all your open windows and control left and right arrow will will change between um, any desktops that you may have made but like i said i, I don't find this particularly useful for anyone that's using voiceover because Command tab always moves through your active or through through all your programs, not not the programs on the current desktop. So I would turn these off, um, especially if you're not planning on using this feature. And of course, this is only on the Mac. Um, you don't have to worry about this if you're on Windows. But anyway, that's an overview of Crime Hunter 2.0. It's an okay game. I guess it's an okay time waster. Um, it's written in Python, so it's cross-platform, and it works a lot better than it did when it was written in BGT. Um, but anyway, that's going to do it for me. So as always, if you guys have any questions or comments, just leave those. And if you want to get in touch with me, of course, just, just ask, and I will give you my email ah, you know what I, I, I might as well do it here too my email for those of you that may want to get in in contact with me is christopher.j.wright the number four at gmail.com that is c-h-r-i-s-t-o-p-h-e-r period or dot j dot w-r-i-g-h-t the number four at gmail.com. Uh, so anyway, I, I hope you found this useful. You guys take care. And I will be back at some point to do something else. Bye.